guys and uh, welcome to this month's shop review. Today we are reviewing Hammond's unique gifts. If you want to be in with the chance of having your shop reviewed next month, please join my Facebook group. The link is in the description. And in that group, I will share a post asking for a link to your shop. A few days after the post, I will choose a shop from the links provided to review. My decision will be based on the shop which I feel can help the, I can help the most or has a lot of common mistakes which I see everywhere. Then I will record a video just like this one, announcing the winner and sharing the review, which will show off your shop, give advice on photos and other general business tips, and basically explain how I see the shop. This monthly contest is exclusive to my Facebook group, so make sure you don't miss out and join the group now. Okay, so How Much Unique Gifts is an Etsy store, and this is what I see when I first open the page. We do have a banner image up the top here um, with some things in little glass jars, uh, it could be beads, it could be wax melts, it could be something else. I'm not really sure what this product is. Just from looking at this picture, it's not that clear. So just make sure that the picture you're putting up here is actually showing off your product really well because this is the first thing that people see when they come to your store. The next thing I see is the little profile picture down here. Now, all I can really see in this picture is a series of white dots. This would actually be a great place to put your logo. Uh, or if you do have to put a picture here, make sure that it's a single product that can easily be seen. Scrolling down, I start to see photos of your product. It's mainly jewelry and a few wax melts in there as well. Now, I'm gonna start by talking about some of these jewelry photos up here. The reason for that is that these photos are really blurry. Now, there's a few reasons as to why a photo could come out blurry. The first is motion blur. The second is that the wrong part of the photo is in focus. And then the third reason, also related to focus, and what I believe to be the problem here, is that the camera is too close. Every camera lens has a minimal focal distance. This means that any object closer to the camera than this minimal focal distance will be out of focus or blurry. The way to fix it is simple. Move your camera further away from the product and then crop the image later. Now let's open up one of these listings. I'm going to choose this locket here. Okay, just going through these photos here, you do have some good shots. I love that you've chosen a dark background to really highlight the gold. And then having the photo here with the ruler is perfect to show off how big the product is. But I can see a bit of cardboard in the top corner here and the actual pendant down the bottom is getting lost in the dark shadows. So when you're taking a picture, make sure you look around the edges of that picture to check that everything is looking good. The last thing I'm going to do is take a quick look at one of these wax melt listings. Okay, as I'm scrolling through these photos, I can see that you're having the same problem as you had with the pendant photo, where the edge of the photos aren't perfect. So with this one, for example, you can see that you've popped out part of the packaging um, in this one. And then on the top, the first picture here, you've actually cropped out part of the labels at the bottom as well. So just be careful of the edges of your photo. Make sure that you've got all of that product in the picture. So that is the end of this review. I hope you have all found it useful. If you have any other suggestions on how this shop could be improved, please drop them in the comments. Um, I'm sure that Hammond's Unique Gifts would love to hear your comments as well. 
If you want to learn more about product photography and how to implement some of the changes I've mentioned in this video, please check out my signature program, Take Stand Out Product Photos. The doors are currently open to start on the 1st of March. So I'll put the link in the description for more details on that. If you would like to have your shop reviewed, remember to join my Facebook group and look out for the next shop review post. If you want to buy some wax melts or some jewellery from Hammond's Unique Gifts, then again, the link is in the description to do that. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to get notifications when I put new videos out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.